No, Logan, you're not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? What the hell is going on? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see Max? You're so cute. We never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. <laughs> that was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. <laughs> Logan, don't make me hurt you. <laughs> Here's the queen bee. Ugh. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to... Push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? We'd have to be enemies, though. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but... You have to believe me. 
You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. She's not so bad after all. What's happened to the music? <laughs> Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Dude, what's happened to the music? That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. Oxygen that kit. Oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Oh good, Chloe's here. Oh, she obviously didn't find Nathan. No. Right, let's there leave then. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Why yeah, are they yelling? There's no music sense. playing. <laughs> Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but... I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh yeah, what a shocker. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now! Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. 
We have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh, one of the moons is disappearing. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Quiet, Chloe. Whoa. God, I'm gonna fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Max, please hurry. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! Oh! No! Oh shit, we can't use our rewind. Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? Oh, and in the head, too. Well, she's dead. Chloe. Wow. Oh, my God, I know those turn ups. I fucking knew it, Mr. Jefferson. I fucking knew it. I knew it. You dickhead. I knew it. I fucking knew it. When I was... Ooh, I knew it. I had a gut feeling. Shall I tell you why I knew? Every time those folders appeared at the end, those red folders, I think it was at the end of episode two, there was black paper and like a special pen that you can use to write on the paper and I just thought only a professional photographer uses stuff like that and I thought the only professional photographer anywhere in that school is Mark Jefferson so it just made me think I wonder if Mr Jefferson's doing it because you know he's the professional and he knows what kind of paper to use and the types of you know, he, he knows everything to use. Even when I was in the dark room having a look around, I was looking at the tripod and the lights and the setting and everything, and I was thinking, this looks like a professional photographer's studio. So I had a, I had a feeling it was him, but I wasn't 100% sure. You bastard. Wow. That was just a, that episode was just as intense as ever and I really want to make Mark Jefferson pay now because he is an asshole. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, episode 5, Polarised. Uh, I'll be filming that very, very soon because I want to know what happens next. <laughs> Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos, 
Follow me on Twitter at Black Cat Plays. You'll see me in the next episode of Life is Strange, and we are gonna bring down Mark Jefferson. We're gonna kick his ass. Bye! Oh, is the trailer for the next episode? Don't you hurt her, you bastard. Ooh, we're gonna make him pay. We're so gonna make him pay.